Hi everyone, it's Heather here. Today I have a card to share with you that I created with the Sackett Castle Die Collection. The Sackett Collection is designed to fit onto the Sackett die, but I'm not using that today. I'm going to adapt it for a card using the castle set. I've laid out my dies to decide what color cardstock to do all of my die cutting, so let's get everything cut out. All right, so let's put this castle together. I'm referring to the packaging so that I know where the pieces need to end up and just using my regular adhesive to stick everything together. There's a space here in the castle that would normally be filled by the Sackett die bag and I cut a piece of cardstock just to fit into that space. For the background behind the castle, I'm using the new Light Up the Night stencil and some modeling paste to create a fireworks display. I'm taking a spatula and I'm just spreading the modeling paste where I want it to go through the stencil. I don't have to go all the way to the bottom because the castle is going to cover that up. And I'm sprinkling on some glitter while the modeling paste is still wet. This is a really fun technique to do. I'm using a chunky glitter first and then I'm filling in with a finer glitter after that. And then I'm gonna shake the glitter off. Look at how fun and sparkly that turns out. Tap the back of the card if you need to get rid of some extra glitter. The castle is a little bit tall for a standard size card, so I trimmed about a half an inch off the bottom so that it would fit. Now let's add all of the extra details to the castle. I wanted the hearts on the castle to be glittered like the fireworks in the background, so what I did is I added stick it to two sides of cardstock. I peeled off one side after I die cut the heart, dipped that in glitter, and then peeled off the back and then attached that right to my castle. Once I had all the details added to the castle, I added some more adhesive to the back to attach it to the card front. The sentiment on the card that is celebrating with you today, which is just perfect for this castle, is from the Simple Strips background set, and I'm just using a bit of sticky tape that's at like an eighth of an inch wide to attach that right at the bottom of the castle. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can find the supplies that I use to create this project at tailoredexpressions.com. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time.